Hey, it's Linda Marika again with another paper project that I'm working on. But I wanted to show you what this project is going to eventually look like. This wall here was just a storage wall, basically. They were stud frames. Um, I, I'm thinking this is the way we build here on the West Coast, but we build with stud, stick frame construction, and no insulation, and it was just used for storage. We decided to turn it into an exercise room just to make a better use of the space, and I needed to insulate the walls. So we used paper pulp. Nothing added to the pulp, just paper pulp thrown onto the walls, kind of like what you used to do in the bathrooms when you were a kid. You'd throw the paper on the walls and it would stick. Same thing happens here with the paper pulp. So these walls were completely filled in between the studs and then finished with the paper and then rolled smooth. I'm going to show you that process uh, in a little addition, storage addition, that's being made also into a kind of a laundry room extension. Uh, the walls were after we were, they were rolled, uh, they were just finished off with uh, polyurethane and a coat of maybe paint. And this is what it looked like. And this particular wall, if you could show this, um, we just kind of made it look like it was torn away. So you can do anything with this paper. It's pretty much like working with clay. But I'll show you what we started with. Come on upstairs. Totally forgot. Before I take you upstairs to see the walls, in that addition upstairs, I'm also going to do a paper floor. And I'm going to do it to look like faux stone, kind of a mix. It's not going to look exactly like this floor I'm sitting on, a little bit different, but I wanted to show you what a paper floor that's finished will look like. And that's right here. This floor is all paper except for in between these paper stones, I've got little pebbles embedded in paper grout all the way through here. But you don't need the pebble stones. That was just done for effect. It could be just solid grout. So this is an idea of what I'm going to be doing later on. And if you look at another uh, video, you can see a whole area where I did a stone floor with uh, just plain paper grout. Hope you like that. Hey, it's Linda. We came upstairs and we're in the little enclosure that needs to be finished to, use, to be used as an additional area for the laundry room. And I wanted to show you this. These are the bare stud frame walls. Uh, I tried an experiment that I did not do in that room downstairs. I was trying to make use of telephone books, which really uh, are just thrown back into our landfills. Uh, they're not recycled properly, so it's really wonderful to find a use for the phone books. Uh, I've had a lot of success in using phone books stacked horizontally for benches and uh, in other areas, but in between the stud frames, if I were to stack them horizontally, they'd be too wide and then I'd have to cut them and that would just involve a lot of work. So we tried to stack them vertically. What happened though is even taping them, the phone books got all distorted and started coming out of shape and didn't stick really well to the walls. So I had to abandon that idea. The phone books are still great and I would appreciate if anybody has ideas for the use of phone books that I can incorporate them into my paper projects. As I've said, I've made them into benches, um, and then we grind them up to use them for the paper as well. But to be used like as building blocks would be a really great use for them. But anyway, without the phone books, ouch, um, I will show you what the wall looked like with the phone books. This wall right over here remained kind of intact, so I might just go ahead and leave that wall the way it is. But this is really what I'm talking about where we just throw paper pulp, if you could just come, there you go, over here, <laughs> where we've just thrown paper pulp on the walls, just like I told you, just like you used to do when you weren't supposed to in the bathrooms and it'd stick to the ceiling. Um, the paper will stick. You can throw it, you can press it. There's no glue added to this paper pulp. It just goes in like this. Now, when we make a floor, like the examples of the floors you might have seen, we do have to add binder to that, like a glue and a substance to it to bind the paper together because it has to be more waterproof. But when we're using it as like paper insulation, because this is going to dry and we're just going to keep on throwing paper until we reach the thickness of the studs and then we're going to roll it. I use PVC pipes to roll it and, and then finish it off with polyurethane so the walls will be finished. Um, and I'll be showing you that process. The pulp we're using is just ground up pulp 
and I believe I showed that in an earlier part of the video uh, of how we create this pulp. But what we'll do, and I'm, gonna, I'm not sure if this is wet enough, if I throw it, it should stick. If it doesn't, you pick it up and you just press it. It's not really a big deal. But I'll show you this. And there, it just sticks to the wall. Or we can just take it and press it to the wall. Usually I'm wearing sweats for this, so don't think I dress like this just to make paper walls. But anyway, I'll be showing you this process, so stay tuned.